I got a little service announcement, so I'll give you five seconds to grab your beverage of choice for our cheers today, okay? You know me, you know the drill, mine's water. I don't think I ever actually announced. I put it on the community post, but my new upload time every day for my full length videos is 4 p.m. EST. It used to be 2 p.m. EST, but a lot of analytics on YouTube have changed and more of my audience and more of YouTube is on later in the day, probably with the return back to school in September. So it is now 4 p.m. EST and I've been uploading shorts, short form content, TikToks, things like that under my shorts feed every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. People seem to be really enjoying the 60 seconds of seeing me do things that are not reactions. So if you wanna check out me not reacting to things and my more of my lifestyle and my crazy personality, check out the shorts feed on my page. Anyways, that was enough time for you to get ready, okay? I hope you're having a great day. Drink your water, it's good for you. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. We got rich kids who acted like spoiled brats. <clears throat> I'm already annoyed. My sweet mate, freshman year of college, would pay me, my roommate, and his roommate to do his chores for him every couple of weeks. He literally gave me $20 for making his bed. <laughs> Not a bad gig, sign me up. $20 to make your bed? <laughs> I'm there every day, every morning, I will be there. <laughs> That's crazy when you really think about that. But it's every couple of weeks, so not that much. And really, in college, you can't make your own bed. You can't do your own chores. Mm. Sounds like someone might have had a maid growing up or a mother that acted like their maid. Just saying, just call it as I see it. That's an assumption though. And you know what you say about you and Sam? You make an ass out of you and me. I don't care, I'm making the assumption. <laughs> Once when I was at camp, this one time at band camp, me and a few other kids were playing a game. Kids from a different part of the camp came over and told us to leave. We replied that we were there first. One of them replied, yeah, but does your dad have a helicopter? What is a helicopter? Have anything to do with this, Sharon? I'm totally assuming that it's a female. <laughs> it's a Sharon. <laughs> but just, just the vibe. Yeah, but does your dad have a helicopter? Mm, no. Like, what does that have to do with this game at this camp? Just because your dad has a helicopter, you win? Mm. No. See, do you see why I'm annoyed? I don't like people like that. I couldn't be friends with people like that. I just don't vibe with them. I don't, I don't, I got no respect for people who act like that. Old roommate signed up for classes at the community college. Never, not once, went to class. Okay, what a waste. Obviously failed. Okay, makes sense. His mom got mad and over the phone, he explained to her that the reason he failed was his car wasn't good enough, a 2012 Ford, which was fine, and needed a brand new one. So his mom buys him a brand new car, 2016. He signed up for classes the next semester and still ends up never going to class. Well, isn't that great? You fail out of community college and you get rewarded with a brand new car. Awesome parenting. What a great life lesson to learn. My car is literally in 2012 and it's 2023. So, <laughs> and she works great and I love her. I went to a private school for high school. So we had a lot of those crashed one fancy car and daddy bought them a new one kind of stories floating around. I cannot relate, but I didn't know any of them personally. Then I went to a private college. Suddenly, most of my classmates seemed to be these people. The worst by far was this guy my roommate dated for a while. Had a really nice car, but had no idea how to take care of it. When it started to have trouble, he dropped it in front of a friend's house and had his parents buy him a new one. Spilled a drink all over someone's computer and when they got upset, he laughed and told them they could just get a new one. Told several professors that he paid for an A so he damn well better get it. Ew. In poetry class, WTF dude, that was the easiest A ever. Didn't understand why my roommate went home for the weekend to help her dad after surgery. Oh, this guy sucks. He asked her why she didn't have people for that. <laughs> Threw away his textbooks when he was done with them. 
I dug through his trash with his roommate and we split the hall even Stevens and so, so much more. He didn't last long as my roommate's boyfriend nor as anyone's friend. I don't think he ever graduated. Weirdly, he had a twin sister who was very sweet and down to earth, so I have no idea how that happened. Oh, that is interesting. Well, some people value things more and still don't feel entitled to it if they're humble and they appreciate, you know, the wealth their family comes from. There are some people like that. I have some friends who, you know, their family is wealthy, they have money, they've never, you know, maybe they were better off than I was, but they never made me feel different. They're super humble, you know, very gracious, very giving. So you never know. There's still some good ones out there. Not this guy though. <laughs> not this guy though. I'm not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Much air. Oh, my strap's falling. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Stay up there. <clears throat> Dude would stand in a club and rip up bills of 10 euro yelling, this is nothing to me. Okay, how about just giving away beer instead of antagonizing anyone in sight? There are so many other options you could do. You could just give the bills away. Not even a beer, give me the bills. I don't care. Like, what is the point of ripping up anything? Even if it's a quarter, I will keep it. I will keep it. Pennies, f Okay, I'm so happy we got rid of the pennies over here because pff, useless. So annoying to carry around, okay? But anything above a penny, I'm keeping it. A kid in my graduating high school class was very wealthy. His parents bought him a Land Rover when he was 16 and he crashed it into a school bus. They bought him another Land Rover and he lost it to street racing. Guess what? They bought him a Mercedes. Hmm. I'm literally just repeating myself every story with how annoyed I am, how I hate these kinds of people, what a terrible life lesson that is. So I have nothing positive to add to this. <laughs> and you know what they say, if you can't say something nice, don't say it at all. But I would literally be sitting in silence this entire video. So. My friend was Chinese Canadian. She worked as an English tutor for the Chinese university students. Her role was to teach them functional English, help their pronunciation and work with them on essays, etc. What ended up happening was her teaching these students life skills. Example, how to use a washing machine, how to grocery shop. She had to call one family because they were sending the 19 year old kid US $25,000 a month for living expenses a month. This was back when a student apartment was like $600 a month on average in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, just stick the knife even deeper, would ya? She explained to the parents that the amount was excessive. The parents chuckled about it, but didn't stop. $25,000 a month? $25,000 for someone in their lifetime is life-changing for some people. A month? Even in today's economy. A month? Holy smokes, what he gets in two months is what most people don't even make in a year. Oh! <sighs> this is depressing. I should cut the tag off this shirt. It's itching me, it's driving me nuts. Lesson learned about this shirt. It's fun in theory and it looks cute, but it's freaking itchy because it's a screen. <sighs> I used to work at a wholesale kitchen appliance distributor. It was a multi-million dollar company. The CEO's daughter was my age, 23 at the time, and would often come shoot the sh with us in sales. She had a high rise condo by herself downtown worth about $300,000. Damn. After I left, I bumped into one of my old coworkers and she came up in our conversation. I asked about how she was doing and my coworker informed me that daddy bought her another high rise condo, which was directly across the street from her current condo and the only other condo on that floor. Why did she get two high rise condos? That is what I'm wondering. Well, she wanted the floor to herself. I kind of felt sorry for her because she was an only child and didn't have any friends. She'd also never had a boyfriend in her life. She confided this in me when we were talking alone one time and said all the guys she tries to date are intimidated by her family's wealth. Looking back now, I think she might have been coming on to me. I still regret not asking her out. Oh, this is like a love story in there. I was not expecting this turn of events. 
Well, it's never too late. You could find her, do some Facebook creeping, some Instagram stalking, you'll find her in no time. Ask her on a date. <laughs> She's got a whole floor to herself. Not too shabby. Also, this would be very intimidating. I don't blame her. Like obviously if that's her family is wealthy and they're buying her condos, not that you need a whole floor, but whatever. I'm trying to be nice. Um, if that was like roles reverse and that was a dude, <laughs> No way am I even, bro. We, our lifestyles would just be way too, like way too different. We would have nothing in common, nothing to relate to. There's absolutely no way I'd be going out with someone like that. Not that they're a bad person, but I, just for my sake, I just can't relate to that. And that's on me. Cause that person might not make you feel that way, but you just feel that way yourself, you know? Was an RA in college. One of my residents was a rich freshman from Rhode Island. He lives on an island and takes a ferry into town. Anyways, his first week he asked if there was fresh water available in the shower. What's that you mean? I didn't understand what he meant. Thank God I'm not alone. But apparently he didn't like showering with city water and didn't realize it was everywhere he went. I was so shocked and didn't know what to say that I suggested he use water bottles to clean himself. Yeah, he didn't last long. What do you mean? Fresh water to shower? Like, okay, well he must have some kind of filtered shower tank on his little private island there. <laughs> I don't even know the proper words because it's so like, huh? Like to me, shower water is fresh because it's not like, you know, I'm showering in the lake. Although, let me tell you, I love showering in lakes. <laughs> no joke, okay? Like no joke. I understand, like that's disgusting, but I don't care, I'm disgusting. In high school, my friend and I at her cottage, we loved, we would just bring out bars of soap and shampoo because their water stopped working and we were there for the weekend and I'm not gonna not shower. And like, I'm talking the hose, there was no water coming into this cottage. So we, uh, we went in the lake and uh, freshened up. Also, oh my God, I have to tell you a really gross story. And this was recent, okay? I'm exposing myself and my boyfriend. You're fine, Matt, you'll be okay. We went camping, I think it was like sometime 2020, 2021, when the world was still shut down, but started reopening. So campgrounds in Ontario reopened. So we're like, we've been in lockdown, we're gonna go camping. On their website, it said washrooms were open. Perfect, we go. Washrooms are open, as in the toilets. Showers are closed. We were there for like four or five days of camping. Showers closed. Nowhere on the website, nowhere on the little map they gave you when you came in. No one wanted to tell us this information. Showers closed. So we're like, <laughs> what the f do we do? Okay, what did we do? We found this, there was no beach at this campground, okay? But they had a lazy river where you could buy tubes and float in it. And I'm talking, it was disgusting, pond, yucky moss, seaweed, dirty water. And Matt and I grab our shower stuff. I keep my literal bathing suit on the entire time and sandals. And we crawl in there. There's literally families fishing. We're like, don't mind us. We just don't have a shower because a lot of the other families had trailers and they had showers. Anyways, um, our neighbors saw us washing our head over like the tap on your campsite that was only freezing cold water. And they saw us like shivering and washing our hair. And they were like, oh, just if you want, you can use our trailer shower next time. And they were so sweet. Anyways, I thought I'd share how disgusting I am with you. Friend asked me to help him do some in-home tech support for one of his clients. This client has 24 hour on-premise security. You don't wander around in as much are escorted from place to place. I forget the exact task that he needed me to do, but now it required me to go to each family member's laptop and do some stuff, upgrade, install new software, etc. The parents' laptops were left in the kitchen. They were first to be taken care of. The kids' devices were in their rooms and I got escorted up to that wing to work on them. Oh my gosh, so serious. Each room is a complete mess, clothes everywhere, toys, etc. I find this quite refreshing as even with living and housekeeping, the kids are responsible for their own areas and it ends up looking like pretty much every other young adult's room. Anyways, the first laptop is a brand new, fully loaded MacBook Pro or whatever the top of the line Apple was at the time and needs to be configured for their home network. 
no biggie. Got the info I needed and set it up. Continued. Me and my shadow proceed to the second room, which is in similar condition to the first. Again, I found a brand new laptop, the same model as the first. After I am done with it, we are just about to walk out of the room and I catch a glimpse of two other laptops on the floor with junk piled on top of them. <sighs> I inquire if I should also take care of them. My inquiry goes from me to security to the client and then back through the guard to me. And it's this quote, oh, you found them? We thought they were lost. So we got new ones for the kids. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like that's just a whole other, like out of touch with reality. You're not even in touch with the state of your kid's bedroom or chores or this, like thought they were lost, a simple browse around the room and you would have found it under the pile of sh ay, ay, ay. Imagine, imagine being that rich. Imagine that you don't even look for them first. You're like, oh, they're lost, you didn't find it. No problem, we'll buy you a new one. That's mind blowing. All right guys, I think I've given a lot of negative energy today. <laughs> so on a positive note, I hope you're having a great day. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.